Oh, hi. I'm Andreas from GreatBit.com. Today we'll be doing a circuit bending tutorial on turning this stock SK1 into a uniquely sounding and modified SK1. I'll be going through a few of the bends and uh, we'll get started with the build here. Feel free to drop me a line at www.greatbit.com. All right, here's a quick rundown of the modifications we're going to be adding. Uh, I put in eight switches right here uh, that are direct uh, contacts. The top two relate to the melody and harmonies. Three and four is a, this is a drum boost and this is a drum mute. And then the bottom four actually manipulate the actual um, piano sound. Over here we have a true pitch knob. Uh, which is an LTC 1799 chip that we're going to be soldering in and then we have a 20 plus point uh, patch bay with a switch for this touch contact that also allows us to uh, create really cool uh, glitchy computery rhythms with the with the patch bay points on the side here we have uh, added stereo RCAs and a stereo quarter inch and these three switches alter the light of the backlight back there. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll, we'll tell you how to wire all this stuff up now. I chose to uh, bend an SK-1. Found this guy for pretty cheap, and also it's uh, one of the more sought after bent pieces. First things first, make sure it has power. And it does. And we'll start by removing the uh, screws from the back here. Uh, this is probably the cleanest my desk has ever looked, uh, but we'll we'll kind of fix that in a little bit here. Let's pop it open, and we can check out the back of the board. Lots of wonderfully shiny metal points to connect. So I hope you guys like the demo because that is really the easiest way to find. Uh, multiple bends because it plays not only the melodies but it also plays the drums. So we'll play the demo. Now you'd be surprised at how many bends you could find if you lick a finger and touch a contact. See there sounds like a cutoff. Oh you hear that? Here's a pitch point. What I, what I like to do is take a picture of the board. I can write right on here. Keep me a little more organized. If I find a bend, I don't need to solder it right away. I can kind of find a bunch of stuff and then pick and choose what I want to do. So we'll just... If you guys want to see who that little lovely guy is... Hey! He usually loves bending. Just using a basic single solid state wire here. We'll find some bends. Kind of droney. Kind of glitched out. Yeah, I like this point right here, uh, four up from the left. We'll just put a little mark on it. Hit up one point and kind of just go down the line, see what it does. Oh, there's like a little stutter and a mute. Oh. We're gonna go four down on the right. And then we're gonna go five down on the left. See, I got the open circle and the closed circles. I'll, I'll kind of organize it in that sense too. Maybe put a little X on it or a little square, uh, different shapes. I'm, I'm sure you all can, you know, pick your own favorite shapes and, and decorate the board as you choose. That's a drop down. Oh, that's a little glitchy guy.
We'll go over here. Some cool stuff. Kind of a delay. Second from the right, second from the left. All right, that's pretty cool. So when I touch this little point and touch other points on the patch bay, they react. So I'm definitely gonna add this little point. You can kind of see that we're getting a few keepers. So there's one, two and a half, three, and then a few glitch points. Those were some cool effects up there, the body contact. Now let's find some more of those glitch points. Two down, it's got kind of like a doubling effect, pretty cool. No, I like that, there's that little warbly after, that little raspy. Oh yeah. All right, so we're going to start soldering in some of these wires here and I am just wanna find a couple patch points that are gonna be the main points of contact. There's a fourth one. I'm gonna start tinning some of these wires and uh, get some of these mods going here. Boost. Mute. Just through the resistance in my skin, it's creating a bunch of really cool sounds. I'll be able to kind of manipulate it with one hand here. Get all crazy with it. All right, so now you can kind of see how the board is panning out here. Patch bay connections right here. This body contact right here. Um, drum mute switches that I have wired up over there. And the yellow points on the board are synth altering switches. And then that white cable is the feedback body contact that I'm going to put pretty close to the patch bay so I can create a uh, finger matrix where I'll be able to manipulate the sound with, with just my one hand. So that's a, kind of a recap of the board right here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, still add a couple more mods. Alright, so we have all the yellow synth altering switches. We got one, two, three, four of those. And we have two for the harmony, and then two drum switches. Alright, so I'm going to uh, a little bit of help from this little circuit right here. It's going to add about eight bucks to our build. This is just a basic LTC 1799 chip. Um, it basically just replaces the clock speed. So we're going to hook up a little circuit here and uh, super cheap to implement it and they're very durable. Wait till you hear this thing scream. This thing is great. We're going to cut that right in between there. So we got the trace that we cut and then these two go to one side and then this red cable right here is the actual ground and the power is actually coming from that blue point over here on the board. And then we have the potentiometer with the 8K resistor plugged in directly. I got the circuit all wired up. So that's regular tempo that you gotta switch it in. You switch it and you get that True control. True pitch control. And I will add $10 to the build for that control any day. I'm gonna hit all the contacts with uh, some hot glue, which I find is uh, my best friend. It just makes it a more durable bend, that's all. Just kinda a little security blanket. I'm gonna leave the patch bay um, for a second just because I'm gonna tie these up and then that's gonna allow me to clean up the board so I can kinda manipulate the case. So I counted out the manipulations. It's gonna be eight switches right here along this line. Also, patch bay is gonna go right here Pitch knob either up here or on the side. Probably up here to keep with the aesthetic of everything, um, practically everything being on top. Yeah, we'll go from there. We'll see. I'll put some outputs on here. Um, I'm definitely going to add a quarter inch stereo output 
and then possibly an RCA. And we'll just daisy chain them. You'll see it's it's pretty simple to do. Clear plastic plate I'm gonna use for the patch bay. I'm gonna space out the things here. Sleeve connection right there. I'm just using RCA because that's what I had lying around. And a lock washer and then a nut. And you're basically going to do that to all of them. Hey buddy boy. And we'll tighten them up but bam, look at that. That's going to be sweet. We're going to put that, we're going to cut out the speaker area and put that right in there. I removed the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven screws from the board. Um, so that allows me to pop this off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clip the speaker out because we do not want that anymore. I'm going to mark my eight from the inside uh, and kind of space them out between that so I don't um, overcompensate and kind of uh, mess with the casing. I'm going to more or less use this back of the board for quarter inch output and RCAs. If we need extra room, there's a, few, there's a little bit of space over here. That's about it. We're basically gonna take all the space um, of the case and fill it with much needed goodies. Uh, I'm going to drill smaller holes and then be able to even them out with the uh, uh, my trusty Dremel bit. This whole thing is going to come out. Pitch knob and switch. Alright, I'm going to go uh, drill the holes. And that one is way off. What a terrible idea this was. Well, I guess I'll add in this tutorial how to salvage a terrible drill job. Oh, no. Oh, that was terrible. Back from drilling holes, and we will see how terrible this is. Yowzas. Look at that. Don't worry about it. We'll salvage it with our little Dremel tool as best we can. Oh, God. All right, well, that don't look too bad. So this is gonna go like this. 